welcome to the part 3 of the first milestone. So as you know in the last video we got this GraphQL with the empty string and that was pretty boring so we're gonna add some kind of fake data, mock data, so just to make uh, life easier uh, for the development. So first thing we're gonna do also it's I want you to uh, CD back inside your main project where we have the Instagram folder and just do MV Instagram to server because we're gonna have also the mobile app in the same folder so I'm gonna have the mobile and server so now I can see the server and I'm back to where we was before this is just a little setup again also uh, the GitHub repo is gonna be in the description so if you want to follow and the way I work it's the repo is gonna be by milestone so uh, you don't gonna start at zero uh, you don't gonna start at zero you're gonna start at the first milestone and gonna go further uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make uh, add another library who I'm sure the name's gonna make sense for everyone who came from Node.js or other, uh, other language and this is Faker so we're gonna add Faker here and we want the version uh, 0 0.9 and also I want it I want it only when I'm in dev and uh, test and now we run mix depth get and again mix compile and we get all the faker stuff perfect so all we're gonna work with the seed so we're gonna first thing go inside the seed uh, repo seed right there and we're gonna just finally create a uh, photo so we're gonna delete everything here and we're gonna alias the Instagram uh, post and the repo repo it's for working with uh, DB so if you didn't know you see here they have a uh, they have a Instagram repo again and this is what we can do repo that all repo that get repo blah 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 you see it's everything about Ecto and uh, your repository here we're gonna say we want how many uh, mock photo I'm gonna create here a variable where I'm gonna say nine so I want nine uh, photo right there and now here I'm gonna paste some code really quick. This thing right there, a list of photo of finally a list of uh, string which are um, uh, finally they are photo. So I get to freestock.org because they use HTTPS and this is what we need inside Instagram uh, inside uh, React Native. And I just take finally the uh, image URL. So I open this one example and I copy uh, so this thing and I copy copy image address so if I paste example the one I have right now really if I open this one you see I get uh, the photo so this is just a list of photo and I'm gonna paste that inside a gist and I'm gonna put the gist in the description so you can paste this stuff and here we have uh, 10 so that's why I have uh, this nine uh, stuff right there you know here we're gonna do a for loop we're gonna say uh, for, and here I'm gonna have the index for zero two uh, mock photo. So we're gonna create a like a range here uh, to zero to uh, uh, like uh, my uh, nine right there. And now here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a photo. Where here I'm gonna oops, I'm gonna put my equal, and now here I'm gonna put my attribute I need. So I need the attribute I have coming in from my schema right there for the caption in the image URL. So for the image URL, we're gonna make use of the enum library. So enum that at, finally we'll find the element at the given index. So here we're gonna put the photo uh, list. So you see the at need the enumerable, so the list, and you need the index. So we're gonna say photo that list, and we're gonna say idx for the index. So we're gonna get the image URL for this element. So if this is the zero, we're gonna get zero, one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. And after that, we're gonna say caption. And our caption, this is where we're gonna make use of the faker library. Where we're gonna say dot Lauren to get in some stuff. We're gonna take some Shakespeare. What do you think about that? Some Hamlet stuff. And now after that, I'm gonna create this stuff with my photo. And I'm gonna make use of the post that photo that changed set to make sure make sure 
then you go with what the schema asks. So you're gonna go right inside this thing here, right inside the change set. And we're gonna make use of the repo that insert with the bang, because this is what they asked for the seed. And now we are good to go. And now all can we work with this data here? How can we seed the stuff? Okay, I'm gonna close Postico because you're gonna see what I'm gonna run. I'm gonna do next ecto that reset. So the reset gonna just rerun the migration and rerun the seed. And now you see we get some insert inside the DB. We get the, the caption and blah, blah blah the thing we have asked. And now if I open Postico again and I open my uh, Instagram dev. Now if I open the photo, you're gonna see I get 10 items. And I get the image URL of what I've just shown you and some caption about Hamlet. So now if you rerun the server and I run my GraphQL again, I'm gonna refresh and I'm gonna run my GraphQL again. Boom. And now you can see we have the, the speed that take also that can maybe help you. Uh, 1.2 inside the DB, this is what that take milliseconds and that take two milliseconds to get everything. And the here that was the query we did, that we did inside uh, Postgres, we select uh, the ID, the caption, the image URL, also the insert app and the update that. From finally, it, we select all from photo. <laughs> This is what we ask. So now we have the photo. And now why not uh, add another one resolver to just getting uh, one single photo with the ID. How can we do this? And this thing gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna create another field called photo. We, where we're gonna receive a photo. And I'm gonna say here we're gonna need some arg, and I'm gonna say ID, which is gonna be a not null ID. And now here we're gonna say resolve, resolver that pose, and I'm gonna say photo with three arguments. And now I'm gonna go inside my um, pose resolver right there, and I'm gonna do right there photo but now the thing is inside my two argument the first one I don't need it but the second one it's where I'm gonna receive my argument and the third one is the contact but I don't need that yet so here now I can uh, find anything about that as a destructuring way it's just a pattern matching where we can take the ID from this uh, <coughs> this map right there so now what we can do in here is just say okay Instagram that post and they have already built something for us get photo and now we just need to pass the id right there so now if i refresh my screen now i'm gonna get another query i get photo right there so now if i run photo and i pass the id number one and i say id image url and caption i get the one i just asked i ask for the second one I get the ID number two. That was simple. I know <laughs> this is. Uh, I mean, this is this is the work uh, AppSign have done, and this is the work Phoenix have done, and this is the work Alexa have done. And it just they have done a really good stack here. Here we're gonna just add another description. Get a single photo from his ID, and now here I see no null for the argument. So what's gonna happen? It's if I don't put an argument, if I don't put an ID, example like that, oh, I'm gonna get example like this, in argument ID inspect type ID from null. So we, you see, we get the, 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 the error. If I need to just say, hey, we inspect to receive an ID. So now if we put an ID, we get it back. So that was what we need to set up uh, for the Elixir part, just to at least showing the element in the React Native. So in the next video, we're gonna start to build uh, the React Native project, but first thing we're gonna need to start uh, to add the React Native navigation. 
So the library uh, building by Wix, this one right there, uh, React Native Navigation, Wix uh, Native Library. So we're gonna set up this thing in the next video. I hope you enjoy and let me know in the comment how you feel about this video. Uh, if you feel I go too fast or too slow or whatever you, I mean, if you have something to say about this tutorial, just let me know in the comments and I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna try to do my best uh, with this stuff. It's not just for me, this thing, it's for everyone. It's, uh, I want to help everyone. So, I hope you enjoy and we're gonna talk later. Have a good night, everyone.